Man, I just got done interviewing for a job, and I forgot how nerve-wracking interviews can be. I haven't interviewed for a job since I got my last job, and that was like two and a half years ago. Interviews are just one of those things that you practice, and the more interviews you do, the more comfortable you get. And doing your first interview after not doing one for a long time is, is rough. I had all the nerves going. I, I was sweating. My heart felt like it was going to pound out of my chest. My hands were clammy, and this was a digital interview, which are even more awkward than in-person interviews. I guess either one can be awkward in its own way, but at least in an in-person interview, you can kind of get a feel for the room a little bit more. And when you're in front of a camera, it's definitely not as natural, I guess. And luckily for me, I talk to a camera all the time, so it makes it a little bit easier, but it still doesn't change the fact that I was super, super nervous. But after we broke the ice and the introductions were made and some of the questions started coming my way, I started to feel a little more comfortable and I felt a little more relaxed. I felt that it went well, but I don't know how good I actually did. And I'll see what happens and hopefully I hear something back and see what the next steps will be. Before the interview, I tweeted that, you know, interviews make me so nervous and the buildup's always worse than the actual interview itself. And that's just so true. And somebody shared a few interview tips and tricks that they found through a Google search on there. And I thought that I'd share some of the ones that I use today that helped me out a bit for anyone who might be interviewing soon, because I know a lot of you out there are junior devs or people who might be looking for new jobs. So why not share some of the things that helped me if it might help you? The first tip I'm going to share is a little strange, but it helped me out a lot today. And it was just to breathe. I felt like I was about to have a panic attack. And after seeing that tip, I was like, all right, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll sit here and I'll focus on my breathing a little bit. I've meditated before and focused Focusing on your breath can be good and, and helps you kind of clear your mind sometimes. I also learned that breathing is very important when you do sports and whatnot. And when I do jujitsu, I know that I have to focus on controlling my breath because if I don't, then I'm going to hyperventilate and breathe too hard and gas out. So I decided that, all right, I'm going to take this one into consideration and I'm going to do this before the interview. So about an hour before the interview is when I started going through all these tips and I decided that I needed to like catch my breath. I stood up, I did a little bit of stretching. I just slowed my breathing down and tried to focus on like calming myself because I really just was that nervous. After doing that, I felt a little bit more calm and I decided to like see what else I could find that would be helpful. And the next tip that I focused on before my interview today was rehearsing what I was gonna say. And it's easier said than done because when you have an interview, you kind of think of every possible question that you might get asked. You start focusing on all the things you don't know rather than focusing on the things that you do know. But I knew for sure that I was gonna be asked my experience and how I got into development and what skills I would bring that would be relevant to this job. So I kind of went over that a little bit. I did this out loud. I didn't just do it in my head. I actually started talking to myself out loud and going over like, my job history and how I learned to code and what I did at my first job and what I did at my second job. And I thought about all the specific things that applied to the job that I was interviewing for. And I just went over it and I, and I talked it out with myself in my room, just sitting here like a crazy person talking to themselves. And that actually helped. And I felt that it helped a lot because when that question did come up and they asked me to tell them a little bit about my experience, I was better prepared. And like I said, I was thinking of every possible scenario before I did that rehearsal and before I started talking those things out with myself. And it just really, really helped me break the ice. Because if you've been to a few interviews, you know that that's almost always going to be the first thing that they ask you is to kind of you know, describe your experience and, and tell them about yourself when it comes to your professional experience. So that's what I did and that really, really, really helped. This is gonna be my own tip here and it's not one that I found. And it's to just realize when you don't know something because it's okay to not know something and to not try to over explain things. I always know that less is more. And when I was asked specific questions to my knowledge in certain areas, I made sure not to just go too crazy and try to go into too much detail. I also wasn't scared to tell them when I didn't know something. I always find that it's a lot better to be upfront and just say that you don't know something rather than trying to make something up or come up with like an educated guess because you might sound dumber, I guess is the best way to put it, if you try to, you know, wing it and you might end up talking yourself into a corner on a subject that you don't really understand and it might come off as 
you just not knowing what the hell you're talking about. And if they know the answer and if they're knowledgeable in it, it might just make you seem less qualified than you actually are. So a lot of the times it's better to just be like, hey, you know, I don't know. Another thing to remember when you're interviewing is that it's a two-way conversation and you shouldn't feel like you're being interrogated. Even though leading up to an interview, it may feel that way and you might think like, oh my God, you know, they're, they're gonna grill me and I'm not gonna know what to say. It's usually not the case. Usually it's an open conversation and you have to remember that you're also interviewing them. And that's something that I had to think about before the interview and I had to remind myself of that because I was getting worked up and I was worried that it was gonna feel like an interrogation. And once the ice was broken and we started that conversation and I was asking them questions and they were asking me questions and, and it was you know a two-way conversation, it, it felt a lot better. And reminding myself of that beforehand really helped me right before that camera turned on and I, and I introduced myself. Another thing is that I also made sure to do a little bit of research on the company before the interview. I checked out their website, I inspected it, I tried to see if I could understand what they were doing on their site, some of the technology they were using so that I could be more prepared for the conversation and feel a little bit more confident when I was talking about the tech that they're using and, and seeing how I can help or how my skills line up with what they're doing there. And I think that doing that little bit of research really helps show that you're genuinely interested in their company, you're interested in their technology, and you're interested in how things are built. And in this case, I didn't find anything that I could point out that I could maybe fix, but sometimes if you take the time to do that, you could maybe find things that you could talk about and ask like, hey, why are you guys doing things this way? Have you ever tried doing this? You might find something that you have fixed or worked on that was really, really similar to something that they might need to improve. And if you bring that up in conversation, it will really show that you're interested and it will really help you highlight some of your technical ability. So make sure that you research the company that you're interviewing for before you go into that interview. And some things I made sure to have before that interview, I had my resume open on a tab, I had my portfolio open on another tab, I had a few questions written down that I wanted to ask them, and I also had some water. I was worried that my mouth would get dry and it would just get awkward, and I wanted to make sure that I had some water ready, and that was one of the tips that I saw in there. I was like, oh crap, I gotta make sure I have some water just in case, because when you're sitting there for an hour and you're talking to people, you get thirsty and your mouth gets dry, and it, there's nothing more awkward than having to talk with like a dry mouth. Um, so I made sure to have all all those things ready before I went into the interview. And other than that, the last thing I can say that was the best tip that I can think of that I did see online and I also kind of knew was that there's always gonna be other interviews. There's always gonna be other jobs. There's always gonna be the next one. And this is something that takes practice. And if you don't get the job on the first one because you maybe didn't know enough or you weren't qualified for it or you just didn't seem to hit it off with the interviewers, don't stress out too much. There's always gonna be another job. There's always gonna be another interview. If there were some technical questions that you failed, jot them down afterwards, go Google it, and that way you'll be a little bit better prepared the next time you may come across some of those same questions in an interview. So that's pretty much it. These are the things that really helped me out today during the interview. Hopefully they help you out as well. Good luck job hunting, and I'll see you next time.